Something is moving, but not the way it should. Not like a rock adrift in space. Not like a comet spinning aimlessly through the void. The object known as Three-Eye Atlas has started to behave in a way that no natural body ever should. Every four hours, its position in the sky shifts. Not randomly, but precisely, predictably, as if on purpose. This isn't a signal. It's not a burst. It's motion, and it's being tracked carefully by scientists trained to know the difference between a rock and something else, something built. Because that's the question that's starting to form in the back of everyone's mind. If it's not moving the way nature intended, then maybe nature didn't make it. The first signs didn't come from a telescope. They came from the data. Quietly and without warning, a subtle inconsistency appeared in the trajectory of 3i Atlas. At first, it seemed like noise, an observational glitch, maybe a miscalculation. But the pattern held, and then it repeated, exactly four hours later. That's when two scientists in Russia, Yuri Medvedev and Sergei Pavlov, both experts in celestial mechanics, issued a telegram through an official astronomical channel. The message was short, but its implications were vast. According to their analysis, 3i Atlas is shifting position in the sky every four hours, not drifting, not tumbling, but altering its location in a way that is measurable, timed, almost mechanical. It doesn't stop there. Alongside the movement, they detected another anomaly, a fluctuation in brightness, not random, not chaotic, but occurring at precise two-hour intervals, like clockwork. Every two hours, a pulse of light. Every four hours, a change in position. The object, it seems, is following a rhythm, a schedule. But that schedule doesn't match anything we know. The natural rotation period of 3i Atlas has already been studied by multiple teams. It's not four hours. It's not even close. The most consistent measurements place its rotation around 16.7 hours, a full spin taking nearly an entire Earth day. So what, then, is causing this secondary rhythm? What mechanism could shift a 33 billion ton object every four hours with such regularity? There are no simple answers. The possibility of rotational bursts, jets of sublimated gas, like those seen in comets, was quickly ruled out. Why? Because 3i Atlas doesn't behave like a comet. It has no visible tail, no coma, no signs of outgassing. It's cold, silent, depleted. If it ever was a comet, it isn't anymore. And yet, it moves. The scientists weren't using metaphor. Their observations are formal, documented, peer-reviewed. The telegram was not speculative. It was technical, measured, and above all, repeatable. This is where things start to tilt, because when you remove the usual suspects, rotation, outgassing, binary structure, you're left with the unusual, the unspoken, the hypothesis that can't yet be proven but refuses to be ignored, that this movement might not be natural. What makes this all the more strange is that the brightness and the motion are not in sync. They occur independently, like separate subsystems, one every two hours, the other every four, not caused by the same event, but possibly orchestrated, like layers of behavior, like systems working in tandem. There's a weight to this, a discomfort, because we've seen unexplained acceleration before. Umamua did it, remember? But this, this is different. This isn't just speed, it's control. Something is keeping 3i Atlas on a timed path. Something is turning a visitor from another star into an object of suspicion. And every four hours, that suspicion grows stronger. They tried to explain it. Of course they did. That's what science is supposed to do. Observe, hypothesize, test, repeat. But not this time. Not with 3i Atlas. The telegram issued by Yuri Medvedev and Sergei Pavlov wasn't a guess. It was a summary of calculations, cold, mathematical, and verified. These aren't fringe theorists. They're professionals in celestial mechanics, tasked with refining orbital paths for comets, asteroids, and even cosmic dust. They know the sky. They know how objects are supposed to move. And they know when something doesn't. This wasn't a whisper in a dark observatory. It was formal, published, a message to the astronomical community, something out there 
is not where it's supposed to be, and it keeps shifting every four hours. They didn't say it was artificial. They didn't need to. All they said was this. 3i Atlas is exhibiting periodic positional shifts every four hours and brightness pulses every two. Both patterns are consistent. Both are timed. Both defy the expected behavior of a natural interstellar object. And this time, it's not a hypothesis. It's a formal communication between professionals. A celestial telegram that quietly shifts the balance of what we know and what we fear. We're telling this story because no one else will. Because signals like this get lost, buried, dismissed. And because we're independent, free to explore what others won't touch. That freedom comes at a cost. We have no corporate sponsors, no brands to appease, just you. If you believe this kind of cosmic investigation matters, if you want to keep this lens on the unknown open, consider becoming a member of the channel. It's your support that fuels the search, that keeps the signal alive, that lets us speak. Now, back to 3i Atlas, back to the pattern that shouldn't be there. The first theory proposed was rotation. Maybe, they thought, 3i Atlas was spinning rapidly, exposing different faces to the sun, creating bursts of light and slight trajectory shifts. As volatile material sublimated, it would have been a neat solution, if only the math agreed. But the rotation of 3i Atlas isn't fast enough. Multiple studies, using different methods, place its spin at roughly 16.7 hours. Some papers suggest 16.1, some say 16.8, but all of them agree. It's not four, not even close. So how do you explain a pattern that appears every quarter rotation? You don't, unless you accept that the motion and the spin aren't connected, maybe. Some argued 3i Atlas is a contact binary, two loosely bound lobes tumbling together in a weird asymmetrical dance that could in theory, create strange brightness patterns. But it still doesn't explain the precise timing or the positional shifts or the sheer consistency. Because these aren't just fluctuations, they're cycles, regular, controlled. So scientists started reaching. Some suggested maybe we're seeing a kind of internal instability, a hypothetical mechanism inside the object, like a natural gyroscope triggering external drift. Others propose that perhaps we're witnessing a delayed reaction, material that vents not from the surface, but from deep within, in rhythmic intervals. But again, no visible gas, no coma, no tail, no activity. 3i Atlas is cold, dry, quiet, and heavy. This part matters. Its estimated mass is over 33 billion tons. That's not small. That's not something you push easily. Natural outgassing from a surface that shows no evidence of outgassing would need to be unrealistically strong, and yet also somehow invisible. That contradiction collapses the natural model. And still, the movement continues. Some tried to call it a glitch in data. Others quietly asked if it might be artificial, not as a conclusion, but as a question that science isn't comfortable voicing out loud. Because what do you do when the data is clear? but none of the known mechanisms can explain it. What do you say, publicly, when a space object starts behaving like it's following instructions? Some refuse to speculate. Some whisper about Oumuamua, about its unexplained acceleration. Some go further, tracing 3i Atlas back to the same region of the sky, where the WOW signal came from in 1977. A possible radio transmission, never repeated, never decoded, and now, from the same direction, something else is drifting into our solar system and moving in cycles, regular, deliberate. Science doesn't like to say, we don't know, but that's where we are. This isn't speculation anymore. It's a riddle, one that's been officially logged, formally observed, and increasingly impossible to explain. Something is happening out there, and science has no answer. There's a moment when speculation stops feeling like fiction and starts feeling like necessity. That's where we are with 3i Atlas, because when all the natural explanations have been laid out, tested, and slowly disassembled by the evidence, what's left isn't a theory. It's a vacuum, a silence waiting to be filled. And into that silence, more and more scientists, cautiously, quietly, 
are starting to ask the question, what if this isn't a rock at all? Let's pause there. What does it mean to suggest that a visiting interstellar object might be artificial? It doesn't mean we're talking about little green men. It doesn't mean conspiracy or fantasy. It means technology, engineering, structure. It means that maybe, just maybe, we're observing something built. Let's go back to the numbers. A 33 billion ton object is altering its position in the sky every four hours, not by accident, not through chaos, but with rhythm, with intent. The level of force required to produce even a subtle course correction in an object of that mass is immense. It's not the kind of thing that happens passively, not without propulsion, not without planning. And yet, that's what's being recorded. We've seen this kind of puzzle before. Oumuamua accelerated as it left the solar system, not by gravity, not by gas, but through something still unexplained. That object, too, had no visible tail, no outgassing, no evidence of cometary behavior, just a quiet, steady increase in speed, just enough to make the models break. 3i Atlas is more brazen. It's not just accelerating, it's maneuvering, or something is maneuvering it. One theory that's begun to surface, cautiously, is that these four-hour shifts are the result of controlled course corrections. Not explosive, but subtle, like a ship nudging itself back on path. Some have even speculated about short-timed bursts of gas or energy, not from natural sublimation, but from a propulsion system. Of course, this leads to a more complex question. If it's being steered, by what? Or by whom? This isn't about aliens. This is about the possibility, however slim, that a probe, a relic, or an automated artifact from another star system has entered ours, maybe ancient, maybe dormant, maybe just following instructions laid down long ago. And then there's the nickel. Recent spectroscopic studies suggest an anomalous ratio of nickel to iron in the body of 3I Atlas. That alone wouldn't raise alarms, except that the concentration of nickel is unusually high, and the iron is unusually low. In nature, these elements often appear together in stable proportions. To isolate them, to purify one over the other, requires processes we associate with metallurgy, with refinement, with industry. Put simply, it's hard to get that much nickel without doing it on purpose. And that's not all. Images released by the European Space Agency show something strange. Not just light, but structured brightness. Not just reflection, but perhaps emission. A glow that doesn't look random. Some even claim it appears to have edges, panels, lines. It might be nothing, but it might be something. Theorists have begun to imagine a mechanism inside 3i Atlas. A spinning core. A timed system. Something like a gyroscope that rotates independently from the outer shell, creating wobble, drift a signature, one that repeats every four hours, and paired with an internal battery, a collector, maybe even solar panels hidden from our view. The idea emerges, a probe that recharges, stores energy, then adjusts. It's still speculation, but it's no longer wild, because natural models are failing, and the object keeps moving. It doesn't have to be a ship, it doesn't even have to be functional. It could be a relic, a lost fragment from a civilization that existed long before us, light years away. Something that drifted for eons. Something that still follows its code. And now, it's here. Not just a visitor, but a messenger. Not to us. Not yet. But from somewhere else. From someone else. Maybe it doesn't know we're watching. Maybe it doesn't care. Maybe its story was never meant to reach us at all. But it has. And every four hours, it shifts, and every two, it pulses. And for the first time in a long time, we are faced with a question we've tried not to ask. What if the universe has already sent something? What if it's been trying to speak, not in language, not in sound, but in movement? And what if 3i Atlas is the first word? So maybe it's nothing. Maybe 3i Atlas is just a rock, a fragment of some long dead star system tumbling through interstellar dark, arriving here by chance. Maybe the timing is an illusion. The pulses are coincidence. The shifts are noise in the data. Maybe we're just reaching, wanting too much to believe, but the sky doesn't lie. And numbers don't imagine things. The movements are real. The patterns are consistent. The absence of gas, the silence of tail, the mismatch of rotation, it's all there. Not in theory, 
in observation, in telegrams, in graphs, in time-stamped records left by people who've spent their lives watching things move across the void. And this doesn't move like anything they know. We've been here before. With Oumuamua, we watched as it accelerated with no visible propulsion. With Borisov, we saw something that looked like a comet, but wasn't quite. With the wow signal, we heard a voice that never spoke again. These things come, and then they vanish. And in between, they whisper. Three-Eye Atlas is louder. It doesn't just pass through. It interacts, subtly, repeatedly, as if it has intent, as if it's navigating. And the more we try to explain it away, the louder that silence becomes. We don't want to say probe. We don't want to say craft. Those words carry weight. Too much, maybe. So we say anomaly. We say irregularity. We say interesting. But inside, we wonder. Because if this isn't natural, then it's something else. And that something else forces us to ask questions we're not used to asking. What if it's a machine? What if it was sent? What if it's old, older than Earth, older than our species, older than memory? What if it was built to drift, to wait, to collect? What if the sky is not just a backdrop, but a channel, and we're only just now tuning in? Maybe it's broken, maybe it's lost, maybe it's already completed its mission, or maybe it's watching, maybe it always has been, and maybe we were never meant to find it, but we did. And now, it's shifting, every four hours, quietly, reliably, as if to say, yes, I'm still here. If that makes your skin crawl, if it fills you with awe and unease all at once, you're not alone. This is what we do here. We watch the dark. We ask the questions others won't. And we follow the things that drift in from the cold. So if you're still with us, let this be your signal. Subscribe, share, leave a trace. The cosmos is speaking, not loudly, not clearly but enough to make us listen. Because something is out there, and it just moved again.